For the purposes of this report, I'm a criminal fleeing a crime scene. Police and forensic teams arrive looking for clues, but thanks to a new project at Bournemouth University, my footprints will reveal more about me than ever before. So what we're doing here is known as photogrammetry. It's recording with a normal camera, 20 to 30 images of a single footprint to build a 3D model of the footprint that we're interested in. This is how the footprint is recorded. You can even flip it underneath. OK, so here's my shoe then. That's the image of it. So what can you ascertain about the way I walk? You have a very unique and distinctive heel print. So you can actually see that you tread very heavily on the outside of your sole. This is distinctive, um, and it would be enough to potentially make that sort of connection between these crimes. Like fingerprints and DNA, the team at Bournemouth University would like a footprint database to be set up. Two police forces in England have already started using this technology. We can actually hear you. It's not just our footprints that are unique, but also our voices. At University College London, soprano Catherine Woodward is performing in a rather unusual venue. What we're trying to do is find different ways of investigating voices and also starting to map out some of the complexities of the voice. Up until now, we've been very limited in the kind of information we could get about what was going on inside the mouth when someone's talking. Well, there's some really extraordinary shapes she's starting to make. So she's dropping her jaw down and really hitting those high notes. You can sort of see her pushing the sound out. That's the smallest space I have ever sung in, in my life. Just put your feet up, but don't lie down quite yet. Next, it's the turn of rapper Professor Elemental. Elemental, when I do this, this is the way I thrive. Here, doing science with Miss Sophie Scott. She knows the plot, she knows an awful lot. As you can see there how much the tongue distorts and changes when he's rapping. It's hoped analysing and comparing extreme vocal performance can bring everyday benefits. There are a lot of people who have problems with their voices. There are children growing up with a cleft palate. There are adults who have speech problems following a stroke. And at the moment, the speech and language therapists who work with them are working in the dark in terms of understanding what's actually going on inside their mouths. And new inventions, I'm rapping to your faces. So this research will be shared with speech therapists and will hopefully boost our understanding of the human voice. This is the place that I like to flip my flows, but rapping in this tube is not the place for an itchy nose. My goodness, I'm here with an MRI scanner. I feel kind of strange, just like I would...